Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about why you might not be happy and what you can do about it. I've been there and I know. I'm also a doctor of Eastern medicine. If you would like tips and tricks to eliminate high stress, overwhelm, anxiety, and increase your happiness, then subscribe and I will bring them to you every week. We're in a pandemic. Pandemics are not fun. Pandemics are inherently stressful. Science of neuroplasticity says, every single thought that you think wires your brain. There are distinct pathways for negative emotions and positive emotions. Now, every single thought you think wires your brain. So it's either gonna wire the pathways in the negativity section or the pathways in the positivity section. So every single thought will wire your brain or strengthen those pathways. So you're either strengthening the negative or the positive. I do know this is an oversimplification, but all I want you to get here is the concept. So over a stressful period of time, what thoughts are you thinking? When we encounter a stressful situation, we have to consider all of the worst case scenarios in order to survive, don't we? But what happens is in a very, very stressful period, we're doing that constantly. So now we have the stress pathways strengthened and we're starting to get the negative pathways strengthened, right? Because worst case scenario is never positive. So our brain is then becoming more and more and more stressed because those pathways are strengthened. So with the stressful thoughts and the worst case scenario, negative thinking, you're building your brain to be more stressed and negative, i.e. more unhappy. That's why after a stressful period of time, you're less happy. And I don't know if you're like me, I went through a very, very, very stressful period and I found that my thoughts were highly negative. Even if a semi-positive thought came into my brain, my mind was so dominated by those stress and negative neural pathways that I didn't have a fighting chance at positivity because another law of neuroplasticity is that the thought will always go down the path of least resistance. So if you have more stress and negative neural pathways built and strengthened in your brain than the positive ones, it's always gonna dominate. This is also why after a very stressful period, something which wouldn't have set you off before, something not as stressful, has you sailing down those tracks before you can even realize what's happening. So how do we fix this? And that's what I, I dedicated a decade to my life to figure out in studying neuroplasticity is we get ourselves into this situation not on purpose, right? How can we get out of it? And because I myself got to a place where I was feeling highly stressed and negative, I was able to utilize all of the research that I had been doing and the exercises that I had been developing. And I found out it worked really well. I was very happy about that. But let's suffice it to say that calm and happy thoughts, calm and happy emotions will strengthen those pathways. Now, when you're really stressed out, it's kind of hard to stay on those pathways because the stress takes back over again, doesn't it? So what I found for me personally was I needed a systematic technique in order to build those calm and happy pathways. So concentrate on thinking positive thoughts and restructure your brain that way. I'm giving you the concepts. If you want additional help with it, I can give additional help too. But what's important to me is that people don't live in the space that I know is not fun. It's really not fun. I've been there. I know it. Thank you for joining me today. I love seeing you here. I would love to hear what you think and subscribe because then I can help more people. And I will see you next week.